All right, we are back. BTC, ETH, crypto markets uh, looking really bad. Looking really bad. 28.9 for Bitcoin. 1900 for ETH. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, best thing sometimes with this stuff, if you're holding it, is to walk away from the computer and not look at it. I've been through the 2016, uh, 2017, 2018, 85% drop. And you just kind of just walk away from it and don't look at it for a year. And you come back and go, oh, now we're at 60,000 Bitcoin. That's the best advice sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, they say whales are accumulating Ethereum now. So that's some interesting news. So you got to look at what others are doing as well. The whales are buying Ethereum at these prices. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. As for us miners, are us lowly environmentally unfriendly electro uh, electricity chewing up miners uh yeah the ethereum index profitability index is way down now we have this article sorry about the picture uh ethereum could skyrocket if this one thing finally happens i hate these articles they're really trying to pump the old ethereum and they're saying the merge is going to be a pivotal point which will push Ethereum. It'll push Ethereum really high. Uh, and maybe do, they, they call it the, what, the flippening, where uh, Ethereum market cap overtakes Bitcoin, which I will never see happening. I just don't see it. Uh, they are definitely anti-proof of work, and they're working on that merge. So is she. She's working on proof of stake. <laughs> S-T-E-A-K, I don't know. Anyway, uh, proof of merge, proof of stake, Ethereum merge is the big news and they're trying to sell it so people buy more ethereum i don't know i think once the miners leave ethereum i don't know i just i just don't see it having the support uh that they say it's going to have you're going to have the nft boys and stuff but they may move on to another platform due to these awful high gas fees that ethereum pushes on people all right let's get to mining mining we are mining g miner on my 3060 ti and other cards uh let's see 3070 ti the miners work great the lhr 100 unlock works perfect getting 81 82 mega hash on a 3070 ti no issues no reboots no crashes 3060 ti is getting 60 uh one mega hash full uh, lhr unlock using g minor and at 3060 v2 lhr getting uh, i think 50 or so uh, yeah, looking good on that. I am having mega problems with uh, any miner, T-Rex miner, uh, NB miner, G miner, running these damn Asus 3080 Ti LHR cards on full unlock. Sometimes it'll run for a little bit, uh, and then I get the uh, either a TDR failure, I adjust the clocks, then I get memory management failure on Windows. This is all Windows 10, and it's irk. It just sucks, man. It really sucks. Uh, getting sometimes can't talk to clock. And it's just really frustrating uh, what else happens. You get memory management. I run total disk scans, disk fi uh, fixing stuff, uh, checks, uh, all this crap you can on Windows. It just keeps keeps dying. But I switched over to Hive OS on one of the rigs, the 30 ATIs, to see if it was just Windows negative. I, I have a, one little card on Hive OS. I did go to Hive OS to try it out, and uh, it does crash as well. Something on these... Uh, full unlocks with these 3080 Ti's is ju it just doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. I I mean I gotta really lower down the settings or something. I may have to lower the memory a lot more and just see how long it stays up. It's just a it's a really really frustrating. I'm at the point. Uh, I may switch to Nice Hash because at least I think Nice Hash has proven it'll handle the crashing and restart the stuff and not bring down your whole rig. Uh, so that is the next step. But here is nice hash. Things are running for a while there. Then all of a sudden this morning, blam, 3080 Ti goes off. And it goes off. This is Linux. This is the Hive OS Linux on my rig. And it went offline. It just freezes up something. So there's something going on with these cards, these 3080 Ti Aces. They're just crap, I think. Uh, I can't push them as much as I can. I may... For another test, push them back to T-Rex Miner uh, 2.15, which is the latest unlock uh, they had before the 100% LHR unlock, just to see if it's stable. Uh, or I may try putting the whole rig over to uh, NiceHash 
and just let it run there because I need to have these up. I just can't have six hour, eight hour downtimes, you know, when I'm not watching this stuff and babysitting. So that's where my frustration is right now. It's only on the 3080 Ti's. G minor is working great. G minor is giving me the best hash results and best efficiency other than MB minor and T-Rex minor. MB, uh, G minor keeps putting out updates, which is nice. T-Rex, they put out the one update, they tested it, and now it's been three days since they did anything. So it's like they just kicked it out the door, and I wish they would be putting out another update, but they haven't. And maybe they're working on it, I don't know. But MB minor and G minor have been putting out consecutive, like daily updates to get things uh, dialed in and uh, the other unlocks uh, on the 3050s and stuff pushed out to people. So that's where I'm at. Ethereum news, whales are buying, uh, prices are horrible, but who cares? Uh, the miner, I'm doing really well, except on the 3080 Ti's. Hash rate added uh, 180 mega hash, and uh, we'll see. But again, profitability is down, so I don't know what's going on. Just keep mining. That's the way I look at it. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing, and uh, I'm out of here, man. I'll talk to you later. Take care, guys. Blammo. Blammo.